Thank okay. you for that. Madam Chair, may, yes. may I respond briefly? Yes. Um, and I want to remind um, the representative from the 83rd and also everyone here that just because one partners with and has children with someone, someone white who partners with or has children with um, someone who is non-white does not free them from subscribing to the tenets of racism, um, one. Two, we also have to draw a contrast between individual responsibility and collective accountability as well. If uh, I'm not, I don't, I would never tell one white person, you are responsible for racism in this country. You are responsible for uh, people being kidnapped, human trafficked, and brought over to this this country. You are responsible. However, there is, some, I would talk about collective responsibility of those who came before them and uh, what they made legal uh, and, 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 and the policy, thank you, and the politics of how uh, that is presented to us. And furthermore, oftentimes as young people, we are given one side of history. Uh, George Washington could not tell a lie. He, the worst thing he ever did was chop down the cherry tree. Um, and uh, Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. And, uh, and he was a great orator. Uh, we only get those sides of the story, but there are other sides of that story that I won't mention today that many of in this room who are educators are very familiar with. And so I just wanted to add those things on, um, Madam Chair. Thank you. And I do want to hear from other folks too.